Hey there, my name is Kerry Green. I'm a podcast producer. I produce 18 shows currently every month. And I just wanted to give some tips on using Audacity. I've created a course called Audacity for Podcasting, if you're interested. But some of the most common questions that I get is about the sequence that I do in, in what effects that I do uh, to optimize the audio. Well, here's what I do. Uh, the first thing I do when I pull in a new track is I will compress it. Uh, I don't always do the same compression for every track because not every track needs the same. But what compression does is it increases the size of the waveform so I can see better with my eyes and hear better with my ears what it is that actually needs editing. After that, I'll do noise removal. If there's any background noise, hum, buzz, room noise, whatever that, that you can see in those uh, small flat line places or places where there should be flat lines, I will, I will do those next. Uh, so that I can get that background noise out of there and actually hear the, the close to finished product of what I'm going to be dealing with. After I've done that, I go through, do all my ums and ahs and edits of that sort, any technical glitches, Skype issues, those kinds of things. Then I'll put together all of my pieces, such as intros, outros, transitions, those kinds of things. Once I have everything done, I double check it, make sure everything is right in terms of sequence, then I select all of the tracks and I mix and render it together. Now, people have said to me, well, when you export it out of Audacity, it does that automatically. Why do you do that? Well, I mix and render it all together because of the next step I'm going to do. Then I'm going to normalize it after it's mixed and rendered so that I'm normalizing everything together. Okay. And I set my normalization to be just below zero dB so that I'm, I'm as loud as I can get without being close to that clipping threshold. Okay. So once I normalize, I export into MP3 and that's what I do. So I hope that's helpful to folks using Audacity or even people using Audition or something else. Those are the steps that I do. I know that there's preferences in how you go about doing that, whether you use levelers, whether you use gates, all those kinds of things. Those are issues of, of taste, but that's what I do. Hey, I would love for you to check out my course. The first module is only 99 cents for the beginners. Check it out. Audacity for podcasting.